Many police officers who we support in building businesses state the job they joined isn't the same job anymore. Due to austerity, police resources are tight, making police officer roles much more difficult to perform. They also spend long unsociable shifts working away from their loved ones, missing the special moments of their life. Not only that, but they also deal with copious amounts of stress, dealing with dangerous and disgusting situations with a lack of support. They feel undervalued and underappreciated, not only by the public and organizations, but also due to a lack of income in not being paid their worth. These common occurrences not only cause unhappiness and create dissatisfaction, they are wrong five thinking mistakes that keep police officers trapped within the job, which doesn't allow them to live life on their terms with more income, time, and passion. The first wrong thinking mistake is their rest days. A lot of police officers believe they have to leave the police service in order for them to build a business. However, we actually encourage them to use their rest days to their advantage in turning them into success days, making sure that they're utilizing their time the way they should to build a new life beyond the police service. The second wrong thinking mistake is taking the wrong advice. A lot of police officers have these amazing entrepreneurial ideas that solve meaningful problems. They heed the advice of those closest to them. However, there can be a lack of congruency. If you were to learn to read and write, you do so from siblings or a teacher or a parent. If you learn how to drive a car, you take advice from a driving instructor. However, when it comes to business advice, we take advice of the wrong people, which only causes doubt and frustration, keeping police officers trapped within their jobs. The third wrong thinking mistake is the pension. Because police officers are so focused on their pension, they miss out on opportunity by actually exceeding an income and legacy far beyond their pension without trading 30 plus years of their lives in the job. A lot of police officers chase their pension and not their passion, believing that the pension will be enough to support their lifestyle beyond retirement. However, the reality is, they will need a second income to support their pension income. There's a lot of uncertainty around the changes that could be made further that impacts the pension negatively. The fourth wrong thinking mistake is skill sets. A lot of police officers, when they look for a career outside of the force, focus on their hard skill sets, such as making the arrest, using the intox lines machine, or writing a statement for court. However, the real value lies in their soft skill sets, such as communication, resilience, team working, problem solving, which they can utilize in building their own business. All of which are valued entrepreneurial skill sets which they can use and utilize in building their own business. The fifth wrong thinking mistake is overtime. A lot of police officers work harder and longer by doing overtime with less payoff due to the higher tax threshold we have in the UK. Not only that, but they actually put themselves in the same environment that causes them on healthy amounts of stress. You can start a business with limited financial resources. However, you can't do so without time. So instead of using your spare time as overtime, you could actually use your time to build a successful business. By understanding these five wrong thinking mistakes, hopefully you become self-aware that actually if you repeat these same wrong thinking mistakes over and over again, you're going to get the same results in life. There's never been a better time in history to build a business alongside your police career so you can live life on your terms with more income, time and passion.